<laughs> Looks like the Swamp Donkey trailer. We open for business? Let's go! Looks like they made it on time. How's it going, fellas? Here we go, baby! Well, it's that time of year again. The Swamp Donkey trailer is open for business. So it's been open, ready to rock since Tuesday. Rob said not everything is in here yet, but I'm just gonna walk you guys through what's in here, what you guys can expect if you're coming down to the Swamp Donkey hut here at the Fox Point boat landing. He's got everything in here that you need to catch fish, even a fishing report up on the whiteboard there. So starting off, we have a big wall of rip and wraps. This is one of my favorite walls and Rob's favorite walls too as well. A bunch of rip and wraps that you guys can get, size six, size sevens, whatever you guys need. We're gonna have some crankbaits. Uh, we got Berkeley Hick sticks here, and then we're gonna have some Husky Jerks from Rapala. And then we have the Smithwick P10s. These are gonna be super popular in a few weeks when guys start trolling. Um, the flats here at night especially, uh, those will be super popular. So those are getting freshly stocked in here. We have the also famous jig bar. You're gonna be able to find all sorts of jigs for uh, plastics and minnows, whatever you're looking for, some stinger hooks. And then again, just a bunch of jigs that you can choose from. Six for $5, not a bad deal at all. This wall is gonna be getting filled in. Rob said this is what we have for hair jigs right now. Uh, but there's going to be a lot more coming in here very soon. And we have the also famous blade baits. We got a big stockpile of JM blades in here, all sorts of different colors that work out on the Fox River. There we go. There's one of our favorite colors right there. A bunch of different custom colors that you can check out. Little worm bar down here. Again, five for three dollars. Awesome deal if you're looking for some plastics. We also got some plastics up on the wall. Fox River Plastics, $5 or five packs for 20. Awesome deal on these bad boys. These things worked really well for us last year. There's my favorite color there. Some other plastics we got hung up on the wall. Some Kytex and then some Authent X. These things are tried and true. They definitely work out on the river too as well. Of course, we have the minnows which they're all hiding back there right now. But if you are in need of some minnows, they do sell them here at the hut. Uh, the last couple of videos you guys have seen, we've been, we've been rocking the minnows and they've been working. So if you need some minnows, definitely stop in the hut here and uh, they'll get you covered with bait and give you a report again on how the fish are biting out on the river. Right now, cause we're still in winter time, I'd say we're gonna do 6 a.m. to 5 p.m. Normally we're five to five. Once the run gets going, we'll be down here later in the evening as the days get longer well we appreciate it thanks for the fishing report you bet i'm gonna go catch some fish good luck out there thanks oh wait a minute you guys want to see what a real truck looks like how many uh accidents has this thing been in two too many you finally got it back huh? i got her back all i think she needs now is a nitro like cody's and then i'll be in business well as you can tell we are going to be fishing with uh buddy john from mindac you guys have seen him in a few videos actually he hasn't been out on the fox with me in quite some time and we're also fishing with brandon from nb edits you guys seen him just last week probably yeah, a couple days ago so yeah. Yeah. He's back again, so we must have had fun, so that's oh, good. Yeah. We're going to drop the boat in, get out there, and start fishing, so stick with us, stay tuned. Hopefully today's a good day. It's not too bad outside. A little bit of wind, but it's definitely warmer than it was on Monday. If you guys are interested, I am booking trips out on the Fox River and Green Bay this spring, so if you're interested, getting out in the nitro, catching some fish, go down in the link description. Check me out, book a trip, we'll get you out here and have some fun. Got the Garmin's fired up. Brandon's in the boat. Ah. I think we're all ready to go. Are we missing anything? Um, oh, just that uh, that other guy. Yeah. John, that's right. I mean, we don't have to bring him. Usually he's kind of an anchor when it comes to fishing. Ah, 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 we made it, Cody. We made it. All right, now we got everybody. Let's do the dang thing. Here we go. So we have a new bait that we're gonna try out today, meathead jigs. I got this because in the last video, yeah. Brandon was throwing some meathead jigs. So I figured, you know what? I got a few of those at home. It's got a short shank, and then it also has the option to put a stinger hook on. The stinger hook might definitely help us land a few more fish, but we're gonna be running the meatheads 
today, give that a shot and see what happens. Hooking these minnows right through the lips, just like that. That's it. Oh, the fish is gonna be a, it's gonna be a lot tougher than normally what we're used to out here. No. First one of the day. Bingo. There we go. First one of the day. Brad's got a couple fish in the boat already, so we gotta play catch up, but it's another good one. A lot of resident fish in the river that are that size. Those are great eaters. If you are gonna be coming out here, you know, for some table fare, you wanna take some fish home. Those are definitely the ones that you'll uh, wanna take with you. Those females that are in here, those 20 to I would say 22 to 24, 25 inch fish. You definitely want to throw those fish back as those are going to be like our prime spawners this spring to really help, you know, support a healthy walleye spawn for the future. So keep that in mind when you're out here keeping fish. Try to be a little selective on the fish that you're keeping and, and bringing home to eat. That one wasn't even on the stinger hook, so I'm glad I put it on. <laughs> oh, John, how about that? I actually seen that fish. Uh, there was a couple of them down there. I actually seen that one come up and do it, which is pretty neat being able to watch it. Yeah, do you need the live scope? Absolutely not, but it is fun to watch. Vertical jigging, obviously one of the biggest keys to catching fish is boat control. I'm using my Minn Kota Altrex today to keep the nose pointed towards the current. We also got some wind that's coming and basically trying to push us down current as well. And in order to keep that jig straight up and down how you want it while floating down river, I gotta man the foot pedal almost 24 seven to really keep the nose of the boat into that wind. And if you're not getting down where you need to be, you're just not gonna be in the strike zone to catch fish. So be sure if you're gonna be coming out here doing some vertical jigging that you have a good way to keep yourself vertical. That way you can get that jig down to bottom, get it in the strike zone and put more fish in the boat. I watched that happen. I watched that happen. So, on my scope? Yeah, I'm gonna grab that. Yeah. Ooh. Brandon, did you get a nice one, buddy? Not a bad one. It's like not a mega giant, but a little bit fatter and longer one. Not too, nothing too crazy, you know, but came up and crushed the tungsten jig. Very neat fish and uh, yeah. Nice work, back. buddy. Thank you. Just a little double Johnny boy. <laughs> <laughs> We've had a couple of doubles in our life before. We have had a couple of doubles, haven't we? Like cookie cutters, bro. Yeah. Literally cookie cutters. Cheers. Hey, cheers, man. To Many more where that came from. To fishing with John Lehman in the boat again. Woo. Nice one, boy. All right, so real quick, I just want to run through the rod that I've been using in my last couple of videos because I have been getting some questions about it. I'm actually rocking my Della Bay 7 foot 2 medium light extra fast action power and uh, I really like the medium lights for early spring when you're running these finesse style baits. You want to be able to feel everything, uh, especially when you're getting down on the bottom if you're going over rocks. Anything that is on the bottom that you're running this jig over, I can feel through this rod blank. It's very important to have a sensitive rod, but it's also important to have that super soft tip like these medium lights have. That way you're able to really kind of put the berries to that fish without actually ripping the bait right out of their mouths. Because a lot of times the fish, especially this time of the year, they're coming up to those baits and they're just not hitting it like they do when that water's a little warmer. So you wanna have a little bit of forgiveness there in the rod. We actually have a brand new rod coming out. Uh, it is gonna be a part of the CS series rods from Della Bay. It is gonna be a 7.6 medium light action rod just like the one that you're seeing here, just a little bit longer. And it's gonna be perfect for these early spring tactics, whether you're running hair jigs, uh, jigging a minnow, or maybe even some blade bait action too. If you're interested in checking out Della Bay's rods, you can head on over to their website, www.delabay.com. Pick yourself up a rod. You're not gonna be disappointed in these things. I've been running them for years and I absolutely love them. Yeah. Actually got that one on a plastic, Brandon. Switched to, switched to a plastic because we're running out of minnows. 
That one demolished it, a little Fox River walleye. Man, I just can't seem to find the big ones today, can I? We were all here yesterday. We actually had some really nice ones hit the deck of the boat too, but not today. Just another little guy. <laughs> it's probably smaller than the last one I just caught. Man, just good at catching the small ones today, John. Yeah, these would be some perfect ones to bring home and eat, though. Tell you what, these would fry up really well. All right, well, rough day for me. Just, uh, just no nice ones. A lot of smaller ones, which is all right. It was just fun being out with the boys today, but I think we're gonna start packing things up here and head back to the landing. And anytime you're out in February is a good day. Fun time fishing with Cody S. Just seeing good old Cody, man. Heck of a time out here. Elmer Fudd is gonna go find some squirrels and rabbits here. So we had to make sure to get him back on the mainland so he could go do that. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. I know we didn't get any tanks in this video, unfortunately. It's just a lot of uh, a lot of resident fish kind of hanging around the river right now, obviously. There's some females kind of moving in um, and, and they're definitely around, but I would give it a, neck, a good couple of weeks here before uh, this run really fires up. And it's gonna happen. March is one of the best times to get out here. So if you're interested in getting out in the boat with me, um, end of February here into March, April are great times to uh, get out here and do some fishing. I'll be booking trips on the Fox River and then I'll also be booking trips out on Green Bay too as well. We had a great bite last year and I'm expecting it's gonna be really good again this year. I look forward to meeting some of you guys. I always have a blast meeting new people and getting you on the water, catching some fish. And uh, yeah, it's just a ton of fun. So thank you guys again so much for watching this one. Hope you learned something. I'm gonna go ahead, jump down, get everything packed up and head on home. Again, thank you so much for watching as always. Keep living your dream, and we'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace.